What is going on guys? It's Ben here. In today's video we have some really awesome news. I think a lot of you guys are going to be hyped about this one. Uh, you, A lot of you are probably going to want redemption at this. So, as you can probably tell from the title, the 20 win challenge is coming back in Clash Royale. So as you guys know, it was for the, last year it was for the Crown Championship. I actually went to the finals of that in London. It was awesome. But this time around, it is for the Clash Royale League. Uh, as you can see right now, this is actually the link that I just followed on Twitter. Uh, they basically they go on to say, uh, after the wonderful feedback that we received from the 20 win for the Crown Championship, we knew that they had something big with esports. So they're like, in the next couple weeks, we're inviting you, which is us, all of you, to compete for a chance to play in the Clash Royale League, our new professional team-based league. So that's pretty much all the information that we have on it so now so far. But it says this: the official in-game competition kicks off on March 14th. So that's roughly in a week. A little over a week with the Clash Royale League Challenge. All players 16 plus and level 8 plus. So that kind of sucks for those of you that are younger than 16. You still can play the challenge if you're below that age. You just won't be able to get drafted, as they say, to a pro team. So all players 16 plus and level 8 plus that get to 20 wins will be eligible to be drafted by a pro team. So that means if you get 20 wins in this challenge, Someone in some pro team or you might draft you if you choose to opt into that, I believe. Uh, and then you would be a, be able to be a part of this Clash Royale League. Um, so that's their news on it. There's a lot more news coming soon about the Clash Royale, Clash Royale League. So stay tuned. And always, we love to hear questions, comments. So that's big news. I'll leave Twitter now for now. We'll go back into the game. Guys, 20 wins coming soon. So as you guys know, I was so frustrated not being able to get 20 wins last time. I got 18 wins like four times. Four times, and every time by my 18th win, it doesn't matter if I was 18 and one, 18 and two, I would always face like the absolute hard counter it felt like to my battle deck. So I want redemption this time around. I want to get that 20 wins. Uh, we are using a very strong battle deck right now, but let me know, definitely leave a like if you guys are excited for the 20 wins. Yes, it sucks that for those of you that are 16, maybe, that are below 16 that you can't be eligible for like the Clash Royale League. I don't really know how all that's gonna go down. I assume like it'll probably be like, all right, you got 20 wins here. Let's let's use Chief Pat's team for example. Tribe Gaming has a uh, might want to select you for their Clash Royale League, and then I assume like the Clash Royale League is gonna be a lot of players, and then they're gonna battle it out to the top. I don't really know. That's what I assume it's gonna be like. Obviously, we'll get more details. But who's just excited for the 20 win challenge? Because if you guys remember, those rewards were crazy. We got like, what was it? Um, legendary chest, like the, I think there's magical chest, epic chest. The chests were just insane, dude. I don't know, but I feel like I'm gonna try and rock in a golem battle deck as well. I used a golem battle deck the last time uh, in the 20 win challenge and it worked out really well for me. So, I don't know, we'll have to see how the meta, the meta is. Uh, Cause it's, well, we already know what the meta is. It's pretty defined at this time around. Uh, Cause it's in a week. So we gotta prepare for it. I'll give you guys some awesome battle decks over the next few days, but I'm just hyped for it, as, as you can tell. Because it's just like, it's 20 wins, dude. It's such a struggle. It's so hard, but it's so like, all right, next time up, we're going. And hopefully they do it like last time where you get like five or, what was it, five or three free entries. I forget how many free entries they gave everyone. It was more than one. I think it was three or five, something around that. Someone can correct me on that. But hopefully they do that again. And then after that, it's only 10 gems um, for players to enter because a lot of people originally they only gave us one free entry and a lot of people didn't like that and they switched it to three or five i think it was three i don't know but it was something around that and a lot of people then ended up liking it so i'm a little late on the zap here but there we go we're, we took the tower here chilling back he seems like he's playing log bait but we're not we got our king tower activated really early on and that's like the death the death of that battle act right there so i don't know but i'm just really really hyped like I said, for this challenge, man. And I'm actually gonna drag the Hog Rider into the middle so I don't take as much battle damage, or battle damage, tower damage. Uh, we're about to hit double elixir as well. I haven't seen a rocket out of this guy. I think we saw a fireball. Sorry, I was too busy talking. Wasn't fully paying attention, but that's fine. We'll throw in the elixir collector in the double elixir, see how he wants to counter it. Fireball, we're, we're okay with the fireball coming out. We're gonna throw in our golem here. We'll probably get Hog Rider. Princess, interesting. Well. We'll, we'll, we'll just let our King Tower take care of them. They're doing a decent job. Um, Hog Rider, I guess, we'll throw on the Mega Minion. If we lose that tower, it's not the end of the world. Because we're going to go in for a big push here. We'll probably see, like, Skeleton Army, but we got our Baby Dragon. So there it is. There is the Inferno Tower. Um, so we're going to have to actually going to have to zap this instead of actually the, that, uh, the Skeleton Army. But that's fine. 
I suppose we'll go in here. I mean, we got our tornado if we really, really need it, but I think we'll, we should be able to take this tower with the troops that we have on it. Dark Prince, the Golemite's still there. There we go. And he, even, he actually didn't even get our other tower. Well, we're not going to give it to him. Because <laughs> we'll be mean like that. Oh, he actually ended up getting it. Okay. So, we would have got the 3 crown there if I would have been paying attention. I didn't think I had any chance of getting the 3 crown, but it's all right. So, we got our victory. We're fairly low in trophies right now because the season reset, guys. I literally just reset yesterday. So, that's why I'm only at 4,300. For those of you, because I always get comments on that. Like, Ben, why are you so low in trophies? You're, you're, you're a scrub. You're at 4,300. I take it. I'm like, oh, if only you knew. The season resets every month. But I actually am a, an, am a scrub, okay? But uh, okay, J uh, joking aside, what battle decks are you guys going to be using for the 20 win challenge? I'm just excited for it. Uh, because if you guys did not know, I know a lot of you know, because I talk about it all the time in the channel. This is a good break, like a good filler, I guess. A good hype moment for Clash Royale before the update. Because the update, their next supposedly big update for Clash Royale that keeps getting pushed back but hopefully it doesn't get pushed back again, is going to be in April. Um, there's a lot of expectations for this update because it's been pushed back like twice now. And everyone's like, it, it's probably, hopefully it's going to be big because they've taken like four months to do it almost. Um, so a lot of people are expecting like clan wars, either heroes, I don't know. There's a whole, like there's just so many expectations for this next big update. And if, hopefully it doesn't disappoint. But what I was saying is like the 20 win challenge is a good like break. Or not break, but like a good... Because there's not a, lot of, not a whole lot going on in Clash Royale now, so it's a good... You get what I'm saying, like, it's a good... Uh, it's, it's, it's fun, it adds a dynamic to the game that's not in the game right now, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Could have worded that way better, but you guys get what I'm saying, I know. I understand you guys, you know what I'm saying. Like, like when they released the Magic Archer, it was, it was good content, because it was getting a little stale around the time, but if they didn't release the Magic Archer... Oh my god. Could you imagine? <laughs> uh, but I'm actually gonna take this time to pump up. I'll eat the minion damage because I already have the drop on him with the tower damage. Uh, see what he wants to do about my elixir collector though. Um, Nothing, I guess. So we're actually gonna push the other tower. And I just have to be kind of kind of cautious here to not get three crowned. Because this is a risky scenario here. Like if he goes all out trying to take my tower on the on my left hand side and i just kind of try and go all out on his right hand he would probably actually beat me to the tower um okay so you're going in like this i guess we'll have to play the defense oh geez dude so the mini pekka is still alive i'm gonna have to throw down my dark prince here otherwise i would end up losing this is kind of like the scenario i didn't want to be in you can see where it was like if I would have not played defense, I would have lost. But I was not expecting him to actually have a minion horde. <laughs> that kind of threw me off. But we did end up taking his tower. Dark Prince doing some work down there. Um, I'm just kind of mainly playing defense at this moment. Just throwing down a golem. Trying to be aggressive, I guess, as, as much as I can. Mini P.E.K.K.A. coming out. Um, I just need to zap his tower to take it. And I'm actually going to do that right now, just so I don't have to worry about it later. If we see a minion horde... I'll be ready with my tornado instantly because my baby dragon tornado will be good. Where is it? There it is. So that's actually a bad spot for me. My baby dragon is not going to take care of it. Oh, there we go. Actually got it. Sweet. So nice. We didn't lose to that minion horde like this this time around. Baby dragon coming in. Prince is just going to clean up that golem. Uh, we don't really need to do anything. So we got, we got the victory. It was a little scary at first. But the double prince golem, dude. <laughs> so good. So good. One of my favorite decks. It is my favorite deck right now. That's why you've seen it a lot. And I don't know why I keep saying I have four things. I do, but I'm getting close to completing them. So we're getting to one more match. I'm going to have to practice, do some grand challenges before this 20 win challenge, though. Oh, man. I wonder if they're still going to give us a challenge this week, though, because they usually sometimes do on, like, Thursdays, right? Depends. Oh, he's being aggressive here. Uh-oh. At least my zap, I don't know if my zap was in time on the prince. I wasn't fully paying attention, but all that aside, our prince got destroyed there. Hopefully our baby dragon goes for the princess, which it did. Thank goodness. That's a lot of value for us right there. So now we'll be able to pump up, hopefully. And I'm not going to throw my pump in the middle. I know this might be a mistake, but I feel, I just have this feeling that he's going to have a hawk rider. I don't know why. I just do. 
If he's if that feeling's wrong, it's fine. Oh jeez. Um well I wasn't expecting either of this. So the tornado was just to get that miner off my my elixir collector, and we did eat a lot of damage, but I still do have some decent tower damage. Uh I don't know. <laughs> that was an iffy tornado for sure. Like I should have probably just let my elixir collector die, but it's fine. We still have a pump now that's fairly healthy, so I'll get a little bit of value out of this. If he wants to be aggressive, he could. But it looks like he's going to play more passive right here. Don't have to worry about the minion horde, but we have a prince and a bomber and a cannon. Okay. Um, we'll throw it on the prince. Try and get that mega minion right up and close to take care of the bomber. How do you already... I didn't expect him to cycle this fast to the, uh, the, the minion horde that quick, dude. Not at all. Wow. That was an incredibly fast cycle. But Barbarians completely counter us. So this is going to be tough. Really, really tough for us. And I'm going to have to counter the Miner. So my tower doesn't basically drop to it. He might have a rocket though. So this is a little unfortunate. I'm not able to pump up effectively. So I'm actually going to let this Prince and Princess take care of that tower. It was, gonna be, it was bound to happen anyways. Or it was going to happen anyways. I have to uh, kind of go in for the next push and be ready for that. So, going in here. Now we'll have my baby dragon and tornado this time around for that minion horde. Whenever it may come out. Let's get that out of there as fast as possible. But I need to take this tower quick and fast. Quickly and fastly. There's his prince. Jeez, dude, I don't even think I can break through. So sadly, we are getting countered here. Pretty hardcore. That that early, that grueling opening push by where I think I did a... That, that was a very questionable tornado, so we ended up losing there. But we'll give him the well played because, hey, he beat us. Fair and square. <laughs> oh, man, that kind of sucks. What really hurt us is we couldn't keep our pump going with the miner. Kind of sucked. And then minion hard. We had the counters for the mini horde. We can't complain about that. I'm just, I'm just look, thinking back to when my level one. It's just like I hate that card, but I have the counters with this one. So sadly, we did end up losing with three or two and one today. Not bad, but we're gonna have to be dang near and per or dang near perfect for this 21 challenge. So we can't make mistakes like that. Uh, we'll clean that up though. Just let me know your thoughts on the 21 challenge. I hope you guys are excited as I am. And then, like I said, sadly, for those of you 16 under, you can still get the challenge, get the rewards, because they're crazy rewards. But hope you guys enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like I said, just let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys later.